damn it. are you? Please. I need help. I'm hurt. Tell me who you are. Deanna Jenkins. Jenkins? From the Jenkins farm on Norwood Road. They are my grandparents. Are you infected? No, but I'm hurt and I need help. What happened? Bill Tabbitt came to the house and he pushed in the front door. I had to run around at the back and go out through the doggy door. Bill Talbot, he's a neighbor? You met him outside, remember? What about any other neighbors? Infected? Everyone is infected. Infected or dead. What about a car? What about it? Didn't your grandparents have a car? I didn't think to take the car. I just ran through the field. I didn't have time to think. What about you? Isn't there a car here? No. You don't have a car? This isn't my house. So are we stuck here? Like trapped here to die? That's not my plan. Who are you? Tracy Loomis. Are you from town? No. From Fayetteville. 
I heard that they quarantined Fayetteville. How did you make it out here? Long story. Isn't the National Guardsman shooting anyone trying to leave a quarantine city? What? What is it? Nothing. Nothing. Um, we should bandage up that leg. Tracy. What? Do you think we're the, we're the only people left in this town? that, Jim? Music was too loud. It's, it's just, I'm getting a headache. Maybe you're becoming infected. Might be in the air by now. Airborne, you know? Feel the terrorists. You know, I knew this day would come. Straight out of some fucked up zombie flick. No fresh water, no fresh food. Worst part, no chicks. No tail. They're all dead or infected. Felt. Yeah, or fat. God damn, I'm horny. Me too. I'm horny enough to do a fat chick. Yep, well, uh, I think I can hold off a few more days before I'm that desperate. Stop at the grocery store. Oh, yeah, like the last grocery store, Shane? We almost got killed getting out of the truck. Look, man, if you want, I could turn this truck around and drop your ass off and you can go back and get your apple. <laughs> Forget it. Just drive.
the bread is moldy and the food is rotten. Also, we're almost out of water. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here much longer or we're gonna starve. It's going to rain tonight or soon. I've been putting out buckets collecting water. Okay, well, what if it doesn't rain? Not tonight, not for weeks, what then? It'll rain. We need water! It'll rain! Shit. I'm hungry! Have some soup. I must have pissed like five uh, gallons. Like a fucking racehorse. Uh, what the hell? What? What's wrong? Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. God damn it, Tyler, we're out of gas. Uh, we are? Oh shit! I thought you filled up at the last gas station. Shane did it! I did not! You were supposed to do it, like Tyler! I told you to do no, it! No, you told me you were gonna do it! You're a fucking moron! Guys, guys, come on! It doesn't change anything now. Well, now what? Grab the guns. We're cutting through the corn. Tell your G.I. Joe friends to drop their guns. Shane, Tyler, drop your guns. Who are you? My name's Jim Williamson from Southport. You infected? Do I look it? 
I'm not in the mood for smart ass remarks. No, I'm not infected. Friends? Harmless. How do I know you're telling the truth? How do I know you have been bitten by one of those things? I guess you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Tracy Lomas. Glad to hear it. Tastes good to be eating something other than those friggin' apples. Well, they taste damn good to me. So, how long have you been holed up here? Two weeks. The place was practically pillaged when I got here. What happened to the owners? Don't know. Are you from around here? No. Fayetteville. I thought they quarantined Fayetteville. They did. How'd you get out? The hard way. Well, at least you got out. What was it like? The city, I mean, before you left. Like a nightmare. Utter chaos. I can't describe it. People in the streets. People, infected people. Ripping into other people. Other animals. Whatever. Pure madness. Your family? Infected. I had to kill them all. I'm sorry. That's what had to be done. What about you? I got out of Southport before they set up the roadblocks. Drove part of the way and then met up with the uh, Goober twins here after my car broke down. Whatever, Jimmy boy. Saved your life. Well, huh. we're on our way to their uncle's house. There's ammunition there, guns, gear, everything. There's a CB too. Maybe we can reach one of the radio stations for help. Some of them are still broadcasting. For now, but we gotta move quickly. So you have a car. Where is it? Back out on the main road, out of gas. Damn. Wait a minute. I think I saw some gas cans in the basement. Hot damn! Well, let's go check it out. Yeah, first I should bring some food to Deanna. She's been resting in the bedroom. Deanna, I brought you some food. I don't want it. We've got fresh apples. <coughs> no. I really think you should eat something. No! She's fine. She didn't look fine. Neither did you and your friends, but I didn't look way back on the porch. Where'd your buddies go? I sent them downstairs to check for the gas. You got some nerve. What? This isn't your home. It isn't your home either. You have no right to come in here and take over. I'm not taking over anything. I'm trying to figure out the best way to survive. To get us all the hell out of here. I mean, in case you're unaware, this entire town is surrounded by ghouls. Yes, thank you for the news flash, but I've been doing just fine here without you. What is your problem, anyway? <gasps> Jesus Christ! Found him in the basement. Cool, right? We were thinking, that stuff out there still might be airborne. And well, we could, uh... What we could do is these! Yeah. Terrific. There was gasoline? Oh yeah. A full container. Good. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. We should wait till the morning when it's daylight. Fuck that! 
If we want to contact any radio stations, we better get our asses out on that road before they start going off the air. It's safer to wait till the morning. Who the hell said you're coming with us anyway? You can leave now if you want, but you're not taking the gasoline. Can you believe this bitch? Oh, you dumb country piece of shit! Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Stop. Listen, Tracy's right. It's safer in here for tonight. We'll get back on the road in the morning. All of us. Somebody please tell me what the hell that just was. Bad sign. That's why. Are you okay? Did she bite you? No. Nice shot, Tyler. You got it, buddy. Sorry about your friend, Tracy. Yeah, well, she was sort of a bitch anyway. Question. What? Are we gonna still stay here till morning?
is it? I, I don't, I don't know. I, I think it came from right next to us. Are you sure? Shh. There it is again. You hear it? I, I, I can't. It sounds like breathing. Run! They were shooting people trying to leave. They said Fayetteville was completely infected. They said it was hopeless. They were right. So how'd you manage to slip by? You really want to know. Is it that bad? Parts. I prostituted myself to a group of National Guardsmen until I was alone. I shot him in the head and took off with his gun into the woods. No one ever came looking for me. Well? Well what? Don't you think I'm horrible? I think you did what you needed to do to survive. Guards afraid you might be infected? Maybe. Women are in no matter what the situation. Oh, yeah? There's no cure for AIDS. 
people still fuck. See what I mean? It's human nature. <laughs> you sure seem to know a lot about people. You don't think what I said is horrible? Not even a little? You're not seeking approval from me. Of course I'm not. It sounds like you're seeking approval with yourself, is what I mean. Huh. <sighs> what? Please, all right? The world's too fucked up right now for you to go all Brady Bunch. Give me that cigarette back, you smart ass. You can go straight to hell, Joey. Jim, wake up. Jim, wake up! What? Where the hell are we? Relax. I was exhausted. I had to pull over, get some sleep. What if one of those things attacked during the night? <laughs> they didn't. But what if they did? But they didn't. Where are you going? To take a piss.
You think she'd sleep with me? <sighs> you, you fucking ugly bastard. Got a better chance than you got. Like hell you do. Like hell? Like hell? God damn it, you scared me again. You got a real problem with that. You shouldn't be out here without one of these. You certainly are the protector, aren't you? Can I ask you a question? Fine. What's your problem? I mean, do you have something against all men? Or is it just me? Not just you. I don't like the other two fuckheads back in the truck either. Nice. Real nice. Me and those two fuckheads saved your hide back at the farmhouse, in case you forgot. Oh, is that so? I don't recall teetering on the verge of extinction before you and the retard twins showed up. Your little friend Deanna was about an hour away from ripping your head off, in case you forgot that, too. I can handle myself. I came this far without any help. Well, Missy, we're out here in the middle of rural nowhere. What do you suggest we do now? How far until we reach their uncle's place? We have at least a few more hours of driving. Fine. We split up once we get there. You go your way, and I'll go mine, and you can take the retard twins with you. food from inside. Hey, just be careful about it. We gotta get back on the road. Besides, you never know where those things are hiding. Yeah, it looks deserted. <laughs> Hello? Any rednecks in here? Yeah, good. Cause I'm gonna take whatever I want, I ain't paying for it. Let's start right here. Hopefully find some nudie mags too. So, uh, you got a boyfriend? You've got to be kidding me. You know, he maybe wind up being you and me left on the planet. Terrific. I mean, it might be up to us to repopulate the entire species. Trust me, no god would ever allow that to be the case. Don't be too sure. I'd sooner shoot myself in the head. Hillbilly whores. Your little friend in the back seat needs a muzzle. Uh, hey man, I was gonna pay for this stuff. I uh, left my wallet in the car. Hey, whatever happened to the other two parents in the Brady Bunch? I mean, both the parents used to be married to other people, right? <laughs> D. 
do you think Mike Brady used to be a domestic abuser in his first marriage? Hey, do you think he used to beat his wife? What the fuck are you talking about? What the hell? Ah! Oh my god! Can I ask a stupid question? Was that zombie eating a candy bar? Place? Good old Uncle Joe. I think he's still uh... alive. Yeah. I don't know, but the place does look deserted, don't it? Hey, Jim, pull up closer to the house. Me and the guys will go in. I'll keep the truck running. Honk. I'm not sitting here by myself. I'm going to. We don't all need to go in there. It's ridiculous to split up. That's how people get killed. Look, this ain't some Robbie Rib spread a horror flick lady. You want someone to sit in the fucking truck, Jim? Then have Tweedle Dumb do it. Are you gonna let her call you that? Shane, Tyler, go in and get your uncle. Remember, aim for the head. Kick him in the ball. I saw something. There's ammo in that barn? 
I don't know. Hello? Uncle Joe? Is anybody there? God damn it, Jesus Christ. The little fucker almost got himself shot. Damn rodent. You know, I'm beginning to think Uncle Joe ain't here no more. Yeah, worse yet, maybe he is. You think we should split up? Ha uh ha, -huh, fuck you. Hey. I'm sorry. For what? I don't know. For whatever it is I did. It must have been something. No, Jimmy. didn't do anything. Well, then what's wrong? Because I'm real confused here, Tracy. It's just... I've lived a hard life, Jimmy. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Why not? Because it's too real. It's too personal. Jesus! What? How the hell have you survived this long? What the hell are you talking about? If you haven't looked around lately, the shit has hit the fan. I mean, that out there, that fucked up undead thing, is about as real as shit gets. So I don't know how you've survived, because nothing can be worse than all this. The story I told you about how I escaped from Fayetteville. The National Guardsman? Yes. You did what you had to do. It's not just that, Jim. That's what I've been. It's who I was before all this started. I don't get it. I was a prostitute. 
Men are shit and I fuck them for money, okay? I mean, okay. Look. It's insanity out there. I mean, shit. It's the end of the world. I don't know. I mean, I don't know, Tracy. I don't know what the hell has happened, and I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But I'll tell you what I do know. That there's a little tiny bit of grace in the middle of all this. That grace is the power for us, the survivors, to start all over. You, me, the <laughs> retard twins, we get through this. We can do whatever we want. We can be whoever we want. Yesterday doesn't matter. The world is going to hell. No one's keeping score any longer. I think uh, Uncle Joe would mind us borrowing a couple bottles of his world famous hooch here? Let me taste some. What the fuck? This ain't no hooch, man! Oh, it's fucking gasoline! You're telling me! Dude, what's he been stocking up on Molotov cocktails? Uncle Joe! Is that you? God, I hope not. in a sidecar. Oh. The damn thing's pregnant, Shane. This is getting way too out of hand, bro. Bro! Oh, I almost dropped a deuce in my pants. You think that thing got Uncle Joe? Gun straight fucking years old, more. I thought you know he was a fucking thing. Well, excuse me, but this whole zombie hunting thing happens to be new to me. Fuck you, asshole. You fucking shithead. It fucking hurts, alright? Is it bad? Let me see. Get away. I said, let me see. Ah! Leave it alone!
Tracy, I don't like this. Shane, Tyler, you two morons in here? and trucks are looking for survivors. Yeah. 
poor thing in front of me. She won't get very far. One of the boys downstairs will pick her up. Let them know she's on their way. Command, come in. This is Unit 3. Yeah, you gotta run her head in your way. Woman, early 30s, red hair. She doesn't appear to be infected, but she's agitated with a gunshot wound to her face. Over. <laughs> 